All right, guys, how we doing? This is Junior. I'm gonna show you guys how to slide your tandems. All right, I'm gonna show you in this particular trailer that we got now. Um, this one has the different button. This one you have to push it in. All right, and some other trailers have a button right here. And then the older trailer styles. The older style of trailers will have a big handle where you have to pull down, lock it, and then slide it because it's, the handle is what keeps the locking pins in inside. All right. This one you have to push in. Some other trailers you have a button over here. You pull it. Same difference. All right. You want to make sure that you apply the trailer brake. All right, so I have pulled the brakes on my trailer, which means that I applied them. At this point, again, this one you push in, the pins went in. You see that? We'll do it again. I just released it. I'm going to pull it. I mean, I'm going to push it in to make the pins go inward. You see that? That allows me to slide the tandems accordingly to what I want. Pull it, apply it. You see the locking pins go out? You see the locking pins go in. So I'm gonna leave them in. I'm gonna go slide my tandems. Now, one thing you have to remember, every trailer you pick up has a sticker that tells you what pinhole settings you need to be at for whatever state you're traveling through. In this particular case, this is the one that I'm talking about. All right. Every trailer is going to have this sticker. It'll tell you what hole you need to be in. In this particular trailer, I know it says California ninth hole, but this one was designed different. So it's got a different pinhole settings. All right. But any other trailer is gonna have the regular hole setting. It'll say six for California. So once you pick the desired hole you want to be in, after I release the pins to go in, that allows me to slide the tandems. Now I get back in the truck and slide the tandems, all right? guys so I'm gonna slide the tendons all right I have them towards the back if you pull forward you open the gap between the fifth wheel and the tandems if you reverse you close the gap between the fifth wheel and the tandems so you pull forward open the gap you reverse you close the gap all right and I'll show you that so I keep the trailer applied release the truck I'm gonna put it in reverse so I'm gonna close the gap all right all right I just closed the gap all right as you guys can see I just closed the gap on my um, tandems I haven't applied it I just want to show you guys what it looks like when I have the gap closed meaning I slid my tandems to the front and how do you tell is because you have a, a lot of bigger uh, bigger hangover towards the back all right so i'm gonna slide it forward i'm gonna slide the tendons back 
which I will have to pull forward on a truck. All right, I'm gonna show you that. All right, now I'm gonna pull forward to open the gap, all right? Second, third gear, that's fine. Second gear, you know. You wanna pull forward slow and you wanna back up slow. The actual tenons will stop you, okay? All right, I just slid the tenons back. As you can see, there's a less hangover in the back. There's a bigger gap. So it means there's a bigger distance between the fifth wheel and the trailer tandems, all right? I haven't applied it yet. I haven't pushed the pins in because this is not where I want it. But you would adjust it to where you want it, all right? So if you need a back, forward, whatever you want, whenever you get to that desired hole, you push this button, all right? So I'm gonna get it into the, let me see. You have to count the holes from beginning, even if they're blocked. This right here, this is the stopper. It means that it will not let you slide the Thames any further than this hole. So the fourth hole would be the closest you can get it to, all right? Because that bar right there is called the stopper, all right? So right now you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna put it in the 13th hole. All right. So I'm gonna slide back. I'm gonna slide the tenons forward, which means I'm gonna reverse the truck, okay? All right, guys, I showed you how to pull forward backwards to the desired hole. Right now, I'm gonna put it in the 13th hole, all right? So I'm gonna release the truck because the tandems are all the way to the back now. I have to back up to close the gap, all right? So you have to guess. Whenever you're backing up, you have to guess, all right? So let's go back there and look. So let's see where we at. Uh, right here, D1. Okay, this is the 13th hole right here because it was marked. And we can see that the pins is right here. All right, so I need to go back a little bit further. And actually, what I can do is I can release the pins so they can come out. And all I will have to do is just slide back and it will lock into place. I don't have to get it perfect. Remember guys, you don't have to get it perfect, all right? Where you see it at right now, I could just release it, slide back, and it'll lock into the 13th, 13th hole. So I'm gonna show you the two options that you have to lock it in. The first option is you can step out yourself, come over here, release this. Push it in, we'll make the pins go out. All right, so you have two options. Remember, we already got it close to the 13th hole. Two ways of releasing it. I showed you the first way. One of the ways is pushing the button back there, pulling the pins out. Second way is release the trailer brake from in here. If you release the trailer brake, I'll show you guys. Once you release the trailer brake, It'll lock the pins out there, and I'll show you. So what I do is I release it, give it a second, pull it, release it again, and then pull it, just to make sure that I got the pins out, all right? So after that is, you wanna release the truck, and if you remember guys, we just have to go back a little bit and it'll lock in on the 13th hole, all right? And this way, you don't have to walk all the way out there to lock it up. It's a lot easier to do it from the cab. As long as you know that that's where you want it as a final spot, you can do it from the cab, all right? So we're gonna slide back. We just heard it. We'll go out there and look, all right? 
All right, as you can see, guys, we are on 13th hole. The pins are out, as you can see. All right, so remember, this is where I wanted them. Everybody's gonna be different according to your load. You have to check the sticker on every trailer to see what state you're going through, to see what pinhole settings you need to be in. The two states that you have to worry about is Michigan and California, all right? California, you have to be six hole or under. Again, this trailer is different. It was designed a little different, so it's different. But the majority of the trailers that we have here, six hole or under. And then I believe Michigan is six hole and above. You can't be below the six hole in Michigan. So it's the opposite. So again, guys, I just showed you how to slide the tandems. I hope this helps you guys. Um, and again, you have two options releasing the pins from in here, from out here, or inside the cab. And again, always double check, make sure you're locked because you never know. Remember, there's a stopper over here and there's a stopper in the back. And I'll show you guys over here. You see, there's a stopper over here. So, all right, guys, I hope this helps you guys. Um, you know, please leave comments, questions. I try to get everybody's comments as much as I can. We've been busy lately, so I haven't put up any videos because of that. So, I hope it helps, guys. Thank you for watching.